Hello everybody, this is uh, Leon Alchemist and I'm playing my new Righteous Fire character. And I haven't played that much, but like a uh, one day and something like seven hours I think. And just like level 79 now, uh, uh, name Warm Hugs, because of Righteous Fire. <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, got pretty good resistances, I got an 88 fire res and with my true ruby flask and eternal, oh sorry, not eternal, what am I saying? Uh, divination distillate, I get up to 98% fire rays, which is pretty awesome. And using this sulfur flask for, I think it gives me like 4% uh, health regen a second when I'm standing in it. And the concentrate, concentrated ground and the increased damage, not that great, but whatever. Um, and this flask I might change actually, because uh, it gives me quite a lot of life, so like 4000 life. And only have 5000 right now, so I'm not that much, I'm still getting a lot of points from this skill tree right now. But with this, a 100% increased life recovery from Flask, that might give me up to, say, 8,000. But, you know, if I were to get into this Flask, I might get something, the like, maybe 2,000, something like instant regen. That would be quite nice, actually. But we'll see. So far, it's not too bad right now. And I'm using a SM's Crafted Gloves that I bought for pretty cheap. And so it gets a 30% more damage over time, which is pretty damn huge for, for Rise of Fire. Use the increased AoE, which I am swapping for Conk Effect for bosses, and little focus, Rise of Fire, burning damage. I mean, there's not much else to use really. And my other, like, kind of weird setup, uh, I'm using Shield Charge, uh, 45, Curse on Hit, and Flammability, and Vulnerability for the two curses. Could use a Witch Fire Brew, but I don't know, kind of like, like an easy play, so I don't have to focus too much. And I'm using added lighting because there's no other way for me to actually. Uh, uh, use the uh, activate the elemental equilibrium so yeah gonna have to use add lighting otherwise I would use like faster attacks or something but yeah kind of gonna can't really do that right now I don't really know where to get add lighting not really sure and could swap out a ring or something but these right now are kind of good for what it is right now give me lots of burning damage uh, I kind of went with this as uh, a chieftain I believe um, ascendancy mostly because of the the life regen here and there it's quite a fair amount and then a bit of burning like more damage or no increased damage against burning en enemies and increased strength and everything for like uh just more life basically it's not really probably not the best uh, thing to use and especially my last two points i can't really go with that i think because it won't really work with it uh using this for 10 percent more damage was uh, intimidated at uh, the bottom there and yeah this thing is pretty cool for like no no bleeding uh, damage when I moved, pretty damn useful. Otherwise, it's been pretty fun to play, like to level up. I mean, these guys just died. They, they tried to get to me while I was chatting before, like, yeah. <laughs> they, just, they just came towards me and died instantly. So I bought, uh, bought a different jewel for my skill tree. And it's pretty cool. Like, I kind of like needed the, all the resistances because I have many gears and just don't have any res, like the Tabula Rasa, which I got a plus one to all res, which is quite nice. I got it very cheap, actually. And everything just melts. Ah, hello. Well, <laughs> you should be ashamed of your righteous fire. Mine's way better. Flame Bearer, let's see what happens. Not much. <laughs> That's kind of what's really cool when you play righteous fire and you get like, these subtle guys. They try to kill you, but they can't really do anything, and they just kill themselves. <laughs> Embarrassing. What's up there? Yeah, a golem died. That's pretty quick, actually. So I gotta use shield charge to navigate around a bit. My movement speed pretty slow because I'm using the chaos roots, because I don't have any movement speed. I got this uh, just mostly for the debuff. It's not that useful. Don't think it's not really needed. I don't think, but I'm kind of just trying it anyway. It's not really linked to anything, so it's not going to do much damage. And you can't really like since it doesn't hit, you can't really use like a curse on it setup with it. I, I don't think so. Yeah. Who do we have here again? Roras. Yeah. So usually you want to destroy the nest actually switch it up should have done that before but oh well like fairly quickly it's not too bad it's 
activate those things and you're dead actually. You know, you get quite a lot more loot when that happens. Oh shit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I got so careless. I'm like, ah, oh, he's gonna die any second. No, I'm not even gonna bother with flask or anything. No. I'm an idiot. I cannot do this. That's embarrassing. No one saw it. No one saw it. Uh, yeah, let's just go back, run towards him. Oh, ooh, nice. Final strong box. I'm gonna see what it is in a second. Oh, it's getting a bit laggy here. Can be a bit dangerous, uh, with these guys. They do quite a lot of the uh, physical damage, I think. So, yeah. Like, I am using Fortify with my shield charge, which I think helps a bit. Okay, let's see what do we have actually. We're gonna chaos it. Uh, unique items and more. That's not bad, I think. It's got three good mods, I think, it'll give you more item. I think it's decent. So let's actually try it. Phew. Hopefully, I'm not making a mistake. I think it's good. Woo! Okay, nice. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, doesn't seem I got a whole lot of good things in there. I mean, not too much. The web? Nope. I don't know half of these things. Uh, yeah, doesn't seem that great overall. I think just gamble, maybe for later. You never know. That's pretty good if you get a good high level armor, but then it's quite risky. I'll come pick it up afterwards. So I'm done with the video. Hopefully, I wouldn't get. <laughs> Time to get revenge! Phew! There you go. It was kind of like a big ass hit. <laughs> I got like half my life. Yeah, I'm, like if I get a um, video of the beast, which I, I'm trying to six link it right now. I don't know if I can, I only got like 120 views or something like that. So, yeah. It'll be quite useful, so maybe I can replace it instead of my tabula rosa. Would help my damage and my life a little bit. Yeah, I bought a bunch of jewel with like extra attack speed so I can shield charge a lot faster. It's quite nice. Because otherwise just my movement speed alone is pretty terrible. It's quite nice to just go in a pack and it's pretty like the small mobs just die instantly. But blue mo blue mobs die pretty quickly and the yellow guys. Not too bad because like my regular righteous fire does okay amount of damage. But with a curse on headset up, it's pretty huge. Got like a minus like 92, 93 percent uh, minus fire res right now, which is pretty ridiculous. And then a 33 percent more damage. So yeah, it's insane. <laughs> We're pretty much done. I guess. I'm just gonna do the Taurus little cave. Even like if you chill char charge in a pack, which is pretty quick, everything sometimes just dies instantly anyway. But yeah, it's crazy. It's been a pretty fun build and it's very, been very quick to level up actually. Let's see what do we have here? It's gonna go right in it. Oh shit, that's gonna blow! <laughs> I just do it for fun anyway sometimes. It's gonna, you know, just try it. See if you can survive. I'm playing soft cores, there's no way I'm gonna play hard cores there. I did die a bunch of times. Alright, I'm pretty much done here. Make sure I'm not gonna forget to pick up my cards. Okay, yeah, this has been my Warm Hugs character, right just fire. And I would like, if possible, get a KM thought. I did get a Divination card uh, before, which is quite nice. But, because I need eight of them, that's quite expensive, so. Who knows if I'm gonna be able to afford it anytime soon? Uh, so many cards. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Don't like filters give me all over the place. Already not much currency in there though. Sometimes when you do get something good, then it's pretty sweet. And I don't know actually if getting the, the, the depending where what map you get it from, 
if uh, you get better cards. I'm gonna crappy pass of them, I'll throw this away because it's totally shit. But yeah. My random rectifier character. Hope you like it. That's not the best, but my skill tree is pretty similar to most other players, and that's still pretty strong. I just need more life, and this is not the best ascendancy for sure. Like, it's probably better to go with the other guy that gives you like 40% more damage, and then the instant 25% regen, the kill from the war cry. That's probably much better. I just wanted to play this for like a more automated type of build. I kind of wanted to play it a bit more lazy. So, kind of was trying this out with all the life regen. It's not terrible anyway. But yeah, I might, you know, uh, redo this if like, I uh, use all the regret, I believe. I can't remember. Maybe you just need like 10 points, 10 refund points to actually remove one. Oh, wait, again. Never mind. You need what? Five? Six? Five, yeah, okay. So it's five points. So it was 10 points. So that's not too bad then, actually. Kind of only need 30 points to redo the whole thing. Do I even have that much? Do you have that much regrets? Uh, yeah, basically, that should be enough. Cool. I'll see, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling lazy right now, I'm just gonna stick with this for a little while. And if I do feel like I need a change, I can always do that pretty easily. Uh, and I still need the last freaking uh, trial to get the, the last ascendancy, so this thing wouldn't really give me anything. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if I didn't forget anything. Some more random jewels. I got some pretty good stuff for pretty cheap. Like it's, it's a good idea to look for the shop because it, it's pretty important. Like this thing gives me like 14% uh, attack speed. Uh, then it's like it's a one-handed weapon. It's like all attack speed and it's a mace. Like, all of this stuff it kind of works for this, which is quite nice. Bit of res because I kind of need it. And it's kind of good to be over cap when you play Righteous Fire because especially fire obviously for like so you can play curse maps. It's kind of a little bit lacking in lighting resistance, but still. Full capped, it's not too bad. Uh, I like double or triple damage, pretty useful. I've got some pretty nice one here and there. He has got like two damage mods and then double attack speed. It's kind of usually that's like attack speed, some resistances, like anything burning damage, fire damage, area damage. It's quite a lot of different stuff you can get. So, yeah, and using the double curse, and this actually gives me quite a lot of the damage. I looked on a, a passive building. And I probably might go with this these nodes actually after a while because it feel like the uh, like one of these nodes was almost is the equivalent of let's say 20 25 increased fire damage overall so it's pretty good uh, so yeah I think that that is actually quite nice especially since I'm using you know double curses so the effect kind of like twice as good obviously so yeah it's gonna be a fun build to play overall being pretty good to level up. Hope you like the video guys, I'll see you next time. I don't think I'm going to play another build for quite a while because I, you know, I only play like two builds in PoE so I'm kind of keen to play some different games off, like soon, I don't know what, I'll see. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you next time guys, bye.